I keep, as you can see, I'll uh, put some footage in here. I tend to keep mine as, I try to be quite organized. Every so often I'll have a big sort out of things that I've been printing in. Every so often I'll have a big sort out of the papers that I've produced in the last sort of few months and I try and keep them in folders so that I've, I can easily find them and I've got them in painted papers and printed papers and transparent papers and I keep all the little bits as well so that um, and I call them small miscellaneous so if I'm doing some collage which I think I'm going to do with one or two of these books um, I keep those all together as well so I can get them out easily and then one thing I find really handy so I've got these um, wire baskets they were left over from one of those sort of where you put them in and you wheel it like a little trolley and that sort of rusted and fell apart but I kept these trays and I've got several of them and I keep this one um, for any my current project so these are some of the papers that I've been using and I want to use more and I've got them all in one place and then especially if you haven't got your you know I'm lucky enough to have a studio but you might be working I used to work in the spare bedroom you might be on a kitchen table but then you can put all the things you're working on and your tools in that at the end of the day and then you can use the kitchen table and I just find it, it's an easy way to sort of keep things organized especially with a process that's going to be quite not exactly messy but it's going to it could get very untidy because you're using lots of different papers because if you're anything like me you'll choose some and then you'll go through another sort of selection process and decide exactly what you want to use and you know that can take a while and it can be you know quite an untidy process so that's a sort of little tip.